Welcome to the picturesque village of Birchover, here in the Derbyshire Peak District, where all the cottages are made of locally quarried grit stone. I'll be taking you on a mystical and historic tour of Stanton Moor. We start our walk here opposite the Red Lion in the centre of Birchover. But before we go onto the moors, we're going to take a short detour to Router Rocks, which has a fascinating history. So let's walk. As you get to the Druids Inn, which we can see in front of us, we cross the road and continue down this small lane. Approximately 100 metres down the lane, you'll see this small path off to your right. As you get to this sign, you follow the path round to the right. Router rocks are partially naturally formed and partly man-made by the Reverend Thomas Hare, who was both a village parson and a druid in the late 1600s. Thomas Hare carved out altars, seats and stairways, so he could use the rocks for ritualistic ceremonies. He also carved out caves where he could entertain his friends. You see the steps being carved out from the lower level. A fantastic place for kids to go climbing and exploring. I'm retracing my steps back towards the Druids Inn where I'll rejoin the main walk. So I want to say that it's only a five minute detour to Router Rocks and it's well worth visiting. And if you've got young children, they'll probably spend hours exploring around here. Let's get back to the Druids Inn. You'll see a pathway straight across the road and that leads you up to Stanton Moor. Very peaceful out here this morning. This is another area, like most in the Peak District, very popular, does get very busy. Especially at weekends, but fortunately, because I'm back at work now, just working part time, up until just before Christmas, when I reach the ripe old age of 66, which is the UK retirement age. So that'll be retiring fully, but certainly coming out during the week, it is much quieter 
in the Peak District, especially out of school holidays. path leads you out to this car park, which is the ideal place to park if you're visiting Stanton Moor. Come out of the car park, turn left and walk along the road. To the right you'll see Birchover Stone, where grit stone is still being quarried to this day. Walk up the road, you'll see this pathway off to your right, just past the quarry. I'm going to take this pathway. We'll shortly come to this T junction in the paths and we'll turn right. Now heading up towards our second point of interest, the cork stone. The corkstone is a natural outcrop of granite standing 15 feet high. You can see, after hundreds of years of people climbing on it, it has worn away. Iron handles and footrests have now been installed to help prevent the erosion. Well, I'll have a go. Well, you know what, I don't think my upper body strength, heavy enough, I don't think my upper body strength strong enough for my weight. So that's as far as I go, but I get a go dinner. Leave it to young'uns.
Now leaving the cut stone behind, taking the left hand path, heading towards the Nine Ladies Stone Circle. Again the path divides into two, taking the left hand path. Passing another one of the many old quarries in this area. See the stone in front of us is the Kingstone. And then just about beyond that is the Nine Ladies Stone Circle. Legend has it that nine ladies were dancing here on the Sabbath and they were turned to stone, forming the Nine Ladies Stone. The stone outside the circle which we just passed is said to be the fiddler who had provided the music. The more likely reason for the stones being here is they were placed by the Druids in the Bronze Age. Druid worship was prevalent in this area, there being four stone circles on Stanton Moor alone. the stone circle on your left. You see a path directly in front of you. That will take us down to the old grey tower. When you get to this fork in the paths, continue along the left whoops, left hand fork. Nearly fall, fell over and broke my neck then. The Earl Grey Tower was built to celebrate his Reform Act of 1832. Climbing over the stile at the tower, take the right hand path, heading into the wooded area. Hope you're enjoying this vlog. If you are, please click on the like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please do so. It helps my channel grow and it doesn't cost you anything. If you'd like to help me get out and make more vlogs, then you can buy me a coffee. The link is in the description below. Remember also to click on that notification bell will be then notified when I upload my next vlog. Continue the walk now. Continuing the walk now as we head over Stanton Moor, back towards Birchover. Come out of the wooded area, you get a great view of the Derbyshire Dales. As you come to this stile, you climb over the stile. Then once over the stile, take the left hand path. It's an unusual style, it's a dog friendly style, so rather than carry a dog over the stile, 
and just lift this piece of wood up and your dog goes under. Easy peasy. You come up to this crossroads in the path. Just take your left hand path. Heading downhill. Lots and lots of paths crisscrossing these moors. Path leads you down to this lane. We turn right and walk along the lane. Just come to the junction, turn left, continuing to head downhill. Now coming back into the village of Birchover. As you can see the new built houses in this village are also built of local grit stone in keeping with the rest of the village. Now coming up to well, our start point on this three mile circular route. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did remember click on that like button, subscribe, click on the notification, click on everything. So until I see you next time, bye!